Finally, the last culture of the Near East. We're going to end with Persia. Dun, 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 dun. So the Persian Empire, believe it or not, was a tolerant one compared to the others. They had multi-ethnicities, and they were the first to acknowledge different faiths, language, political organizations. A little bit nicer than other ones. Wow, look at this. By the early 5th century BCE, the Persian Empire ruled an estimated 44% of the human population of planet Earth. This is pretty cool. The Persepolis was marked as a special site by Darius the Great in 518 BCE. He called it the Royal Hill, and it would serve as a ceremonial center and a citadel for a city. Now, Darius the Great, he directed a massive building program that would continue under his successors for over 100 years. It would remain an important site until it was sacked, looted, and burnt under, of course, Alexander the Great of Macedon in 330 BCE. So what you see here is the Apadana. The Apadana is a palace. It's really large. It's ceremonial. It's like a building and it's an audience hall. It has an associated portico. So just imagine you're a visitor and you're walking up these stairs. What do you think the emperor or the king wants you to know? I think they want you to know that they're pretty powerful. So here we go. We got the audience hall. This is your CED number 30. And it's in modern day Iran. It's Persian. What you need to know is that it was an audience hall. What that means is a hypostyle. And hypostyle means that it's a plan and the roof of the structure is supported by columns. And these capitals support a very high wooden roof probably about 40 to 60 feet high. Just imagine, as you come in here, you're, you're entering a home and carved out of stone, which was imported, whereas the whole palace is most likely made out of mud brick. You're seeing these huge, massive bull figures on the top looking down at you. So the monumental stairways that approach to Apadana from the north and the east were adjoined with registers of relief sculptures. And they represent about 23 subjects, nations of the Persian Empire. They're bringing valuable gifts as a tribute to the king. The relief program of the Apadana serves to reinforce and underscore the power of the Persian king and the breadth of this dominion. The walls and the spaces and the stairs lead up to the reception hall. It's carved with hundreds of figures. And it just shows the accumulation of power as you walk through the audience hall and make your way to see the king. At this point, go ahead and view the con video. Fill out your handout that's in your packet take a picture and email it to me. So you have the Babylon, the Stele, New Assyrian, which is the Lamassu, and the Iran Persian Persepolis. Don't forget that this is in your packet as well. You do not need to send me this. It's just a really good handout to be able to get your eyes together and know what civilization did what. And from there, my friends, dominate your test, which is next class.